everybody, and we're live with the post game show uh, several hours after the game. I apologize for that. Um, very, very busy day today, but we had to do a post game and talk about the Giants' 7 3 victory over the Arizona Diamondbacks today. And it's it, just a great game, a great follow up to the ass whooping that we experienced yesterday, which, like I said, yes, it's one loss. And the Giants are now ahead of the series, 2-1, to one, and a chance to win the series tomorrow. What a day today by Patrick Bailey. What a day for the offense with how many hits? 16 hits today, seven runs, a much, 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 much better game than whatever that was yesterday. Kyle Harrison didn't have his best stuff, but the bullpen came in, had his back, Ryan Walker, Eric Miller, Taylor Rogers, Tyler Rogers, Camilo Doval strikes out the side to finish out this game and uh, the Giants win it. So I want to thank everyone for jumping. I can't believe so many people are here all this late. What, like, like four hours, five hours after the game, considering last night's loss. We should, oh, y'all, yeah, what's up, James Decker? Dodgers lose again. We'll check out all the scores and the standings. James Decker, Kayla is here. What is going on, Jim Thurlkill? Everyone else, thank you so much for jumping in to today's post game show brought to you by the one and only Robert Roth, Robert Rothberg. The team made a statement, a giant statement. And um, with this win, the Giants are now again 10 and 12. So are the D backs 10 and 12. And we'll look at the standings, but it's a very close, close early. Race here in the National League West, but with this victory, doing just fine. Like yesterday, could have been a loot law or could have lost by one run, and it was the situation would be the same. Yeah, it sucks to have to watch a blowout, but as far as that, that that's in the past now, and the Giants get the win today. Um, and we will take that for 100. So, nice victory. Thank you guys for jumping in. And uh, we'll recap this one as well. I'll try to play some highlights. I just, just, just walked through the door and I hit live. Like, let's freaking go. The Dodgers did lose to the Mets by a score of six to four. So very nice. Uh, final score today, seven to three Giants. And right off the bat, Patrick Beatty, it looked like he was going to hit the, for the cycle. He had a double, he had a bomb, he had a single, and he drove a ball out deep into the outfield. Nobody was going to get to it. And it looked like he was hauling ass towards second. I said, he's got to get the triple, but the ball bounced over the freaking fence. So he was unable to get the cycle. That would have been amazing. Big post game wrap. I have a question after the big post game wrap. James Decker, one of the longest. So yeah, on Patrick, that's insane. If he would have gotten a cycle on his bobblehead day, Wow. Jason Corona comes through to continue the streak. The streak cannot die. Let's get some more lights. Some more lighting here. There we go. Light behind me. All right. Yeah. James, Jason Corona for the W. Woo! Thank you so much. I actually, I hate the woo. They do in ballparks, the freaking Ric Flair. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for that. Jason Corona comes through kitchen handy. Amazing, amazing, amazing ball game today. The Giants take it seven to three. We need to do the uh, wrap up the game and talk about how things went. First of all, right away, uh, well, actually, the D backs struck first. I should say. I was gonna. I was gonna. I was trying to go straight to. Uh, I'm live. I'll send you a link. Bye. Oh, uh, oh man. Uh, Robert Rothberg. Yep, sorry about that. Had uh, uh, it's a lot of business going on. How many baseball is extremely, extremely, we, we are, uh, we're doing big things right now. Just give me one second here. One second. Get my producer. Okay. Don't, we know what's up. I don't really have a producer, but. Okay. 
what Randy Runolfson 499 with the super chat. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. 499 coming through with the super chat. Thank you so much. That amazing support. You guys are absolutely incredible. Can't believe we have 33 people in the chat so late for the post game. But I hope you guys were able maybe to listen to KNBR or something else. Um, and uh, maybe hear the rap with the with the guys here over there. So uh, future Cy Young winner, Jordan Hicks is incredible. Yep, he's he's been, you know, if the pitching staff can just get it going, if we can make sure Snell gets it going, Obviously, Webb is looking like Webb is back now. Webb had a rough spring training, a couple of rough starts. Look, He's looked better every start. And then the start before last, I was like, okay, looks like Webb is getting back to his normal self. And then all of a sudden, last start, he was on fire. So looks like Logan Webb is back. We need Snell to do the same kind of thing and get 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 himself back 100%. Harrison is always, you know, Harrison's, you know, has always got great stuff, great strikeout stuff. He's not always going to be, you know, completely dominant. He had uh, not his best game today. But the bullpen got his back, and, of course, the Giants' offense got his back as well. But anyway, just to recap this game, um, the Diamondbacks did strike first on the Christian Walker base hit, one nothing, taking the lead. But then in the bottom half, um, Jung-Hoo Lee on the second pitch uh, crushed a home run. And let's see. Is it possible to... to play this home run? I didn't, I wasn't able to download the videos. So. Oh, you know how that goes with the ads. We don't want to hear no freaking ads up in here. Um, here we go. Jung Hoo Lee. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. Here it is. Oh! Lee one more time, one more time. Leads off in the bottom half of the first. Lee, left-handed hitter. Lee hits a hot drive to right. It is out of here. Home run number two. Well, that's his first one here. Now you give the guy a day off and he comes. Oh, I was trying to stop it on Jung. Jung Hoo Lee leads off. All right, so Jung Hoo Lee with the big fly to take the uh, – to, to tie the game. Um – and uh, that the Giants weren't done there. Uh, Patrick Bailey hit a double to bring in a Wilmer Flores and Wade Jr. And they took a 3-1 lead. And Patrick Bailey was just getting started on his bobblehead day. Uh, top of the fourth inning, Blaze Alexander. He has been a thorn in the Giants' side this series with a double, making it 3-2 Giants. And then Kevin Newman hit a base hit uh, to make it 3-2-3 as Blaze Alexander came in to score. Um, the game was then tied until the bottom of the fifth when who else but the great Patrick Bailey hits a home run to give the Giants a 5-3 lead. Patrick Bailey, if anyone had any doubts about Bailey during spring training or whatever, uh, he's the real deal. Patrick Bailey is the real freaking deal. What is up the Cali Oki connection? Jung, just Jung. First time I heard that, Jung. <laughs> yeah, I just said Jung, uh, my man. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see if we can. Uh, oh. let's see if we can check out this bomb by Patrick Bailey. Ah, they don't. They give you just go straight to it. Here we go, Patrick Bailey with the big fly. The Giants take the lead. The kid is three for three with three legs of the cycle. And they look who got it. The Gamer Babe did. And let's see how he did it. He got a count leverage shot and stayed with nothing but fastballs on pole at bat. And hitter, he leaves one up, middle in, above the knee. And that is a splash hit. I was asked the other day who's going to hit the next splash hit. I, I think I said Wade Jr. Whoever I said, I was wrong because I know I didn't say Patrick Bailey with the big fly. That in the same time, Cali Oki people be saying Jung Hoo Lee. Jung Hoo Lee sucks to see Tyro swinging and everything out of the zone. Hope he gets it together for sure. 
Does Patrick Bailey home run count as a? I, it looked like a dang splash hit to me. I think it was a splash hit. As long as it doesn't bounce in on the fly. Jung Hu Lee with a high flying home run, just close to a splash hit, but Patrick Bailey go bam. And like I said, almost hit for the cycle. Didn't quite make it, um, but, but but almost hit a triple. He was heading for third. He was going to go for the triple, but unfortunately the ball bounced over the fence and it was an auto double at that point. But um, that two run home run put the Giants back on top. And then they added two more in the bottom of the eighth inning to pretty much uh, make, you know, open that gap a little bit and, 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 and feel that they were going to get the win today, which they did. Jung Hu Lee hit a double, and uh, Matt Chapman had a base hit. Michael Conforto got into it with a hit, and the Giants end up winning this game by a score of 7-3. to three. And again, big shout-out to the bullpen today because the bullpen, they really held it down. Um, back to the chat. Win for Sacktown. Win for... San Francisco, absolutely beautiful. Yep, we'll check. We'll check uh, on the farm down on the farm as well, and the scores as well. Um, but I know the Dodgers lost. Uh, Salt Lake City making a big deal with getting an MLB team. Yeah, and uh, aren't they getting a hockey team in HL? I heard that the Arizona Coyotes Coyotes are out. They're leaving Phoenix. They can't get a new stadium there. They bounced around to different stadiums. I think they're going to Salt Lake City. So I think already um, Salt Lake City is getting an NHL team, if I heard right, and yeah, they want to get they're they're one they're going to be one of the cities in the near future to get a big league team. They wanted the A's here, but the A's are going to stay in, in in California until they head over to uh, head down to um, uh, Las Vegas. If that happens, I thought you were unaware of Jung Hu Lee. Are you shocked? I thought you were unaware of Jung Hu Lee. Are you shocked? Um. When since when was I unaware of Jung Hoo Lee? Uh, uh, is Bailey's homer the first dry splash hit? Oh, because it landed on the ground, landed on somebody. It very well could be. Uh, oh, that maybe that's why you're asking. Is it a, a splash hit since it didn't hit the water? That got, that's a splash hit. You got to give a splash hit. Um, what? Uh, we're trying to get a big league sports baby. Oh, it's okay. Bull Falcon. You were right about Flores in 2021. The article I saw had both 2020 also later 21 Flores, but I read it as 2020. At first, thank you, Randy, Jason Corona for the super chats. And that's a wrap on this game. Giants take care of Zach Gallon. We were worried about Zach Gallon. Zach Gallon gives up five runs in five innings and still has a three ERA this season. That's how good he's been. Like his ERA is still at 3.00 despite giving up five runs in five innings. So it must have been like under two coming into this game. But um, Giants got it done against Gallon and against Castro a little bit later in the game. Shout out again to Doval. He did perfect. Uh, didn't get the save because the Giants were up by three. And I, I still I'm glad they put him in anyway to get him to work, get him to get him a nice finish right there. Finishes off the game. Um, Tyler and Taylor both were fantastic today. Eric Miller has continued to look great. He's had like one or two times he's gotten shelled. Other than that, Eric Miller has been lights out. And Ryan Walker's looked good. The whole pitching staff really looked good. And even Harrison, although he gave up some runs. Uh, Harrison's stuff is filthy and uh, he's got a bright future. The Giants win it seven to three and a chance, like I said, tomorrow to take this series. This is these are the National League champions we're dealing with. So if the Giants take this series tomorrow, who cares that they lost a game? We just laugh about it. Who cares that they lost a game yesterday? I mean, I know it was an ugly loss, but we got a new member, SG Sports Talk Channel. What's going on there? Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. I know it's been a been a, you've been a member in the past. Uh, I do have some member videos coming out. I put a, a, a baseball card pack opening. I put an umpire rant. I I was gonna do the umpire rant public. I decided to do a, a member one. Maybe I'll do a, a public one later. Which player would you want hitting if we need a base hit in the bottom of the ninth? Uh, if I just had to pick one player, I'd probably go with 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 Wilmer Flores. I I just feel always confident when he's up there, especially in a clutch situation. But um. I probably go with Wilmer Flores. If 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 I had to pick someone, obviously it could depend on who's pitching. It could depend on a lot, but that would be my general go-to guy. It would be Wilmer. Um, so nice win today for the Giants, seven to three. Um, and if you look at the lineup, you could see the top three top three guys, um, including Chapman, who came in for Wade. All with multiple hits. Chapman goes two for two today. Wade goes two. He's Wade is hitting just under 400. 
uh, chasing Ted Williams here. 388. Lee goes two for five today. He's hitting 289. These batting averages are coming up. Solaire with a hit. Giants really uh, uh, haven't been. I mean, yeah, today we. this is the first day the Giants have actually had multiple home runs at Oracle with Lee and Bailey. Um, so they're kind of struggling at home to hit the long ball, but broke out today. So that, that hopefully won't be a problem going forward. But and I don't really care. You don't have to hit home runs at all as long as you get the Ws. But, again, I've said it over and over, the team that does better with running the scoring position. Um, but today both teams did okay. It's just the fact that Diamondbacks didn't get many runners in scoring position. They go two for five, which is not bad. But the Giants go five for 13. So Giants, five hits with runners in scoring position. The Diamondbacks just two. Yeah, they didn't have as many opportunities. but still. Um, Overall, the Giants came through when they had to, and they played a sharp, good, solid game and a great bounce-back game after a tough one. So we'll take this W all the way. Thank you, SG Sports Talk. Great to be a member. Uh, Padres lose. Uh, Kayla, what is the powwow event? I want to see homers from Solaire. How do I send a members-only super chat? Uh, I, I don't know if they, I didn't know there was a members only super chat. I, I know you can send us a general super chat. Um, I don't know about the members only thing, man. You guys are amazing. Amazing. I was afraid nobody would show up, uh, starting this late. Um, but yeah, what a great victory today. And yeah, Kalioki connection mentioned the river cats also won today. I don't know about Richmond, but I know that down down the farm, like Mason Black is pitching great. Uh, all, all these starters down there are pitching great, and that's a great sign. I mean, our staff is great, but if Blake Snell needs to go on the aisle uh, today, it was Howard um, Spencer Howard, who was a big prospect with the Phillies. Giants picked him up. He shut down the opponent today uh, in AAA. Six scoreless innings, six scoreless for Spencer Howard. So. Just to just to know, the Giants have some really good starting pitching options, and obviously some offensive options like Ramos and 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 of course Luciano and all our guys are ready at a moment's freaking notice to come up and help. So um, awesome to see that uh, that that the Giants are playing well across the organization. Obviously, the big league team is where it's about. Richmond did win today, six one. 6-1 against Harrisburg, taking care of business. And now I'm curious, um, who did what in that game? So the Giants' entire organization, we're clicking now on all cylinders, and now it's time. Grant McCray goes deep. Brett Auerbach, who was, well, he was, he was really making a name for himself the last couple of years as a prospect. He hit a double. Very nice. And, and he tripled. Holy crap. Brett Auerbach, two for four today with a double and a triple. Um, and Hunter Bishop had a hit and an RBI. Uh, Howell went two for five, and McCray went two for five. So uh, very nice here. And Birdsong started three and a third scoreless for Hayden Birdsong, another one of our top prospects uh, picked in the sixth round. But he's been uh, having a very nice minor league career and uh, impressing with the strikeouts, 191 strikeouts, 123, just throwing out some guys for the future. But as far as today, it's a big W, and the Giants need to win again tomorrow and get back to 500. Bo Falcon, member for 36 months, a member milestone chat. 36 freaking months. Holy crap. That's three years. The Giants win. I was at a powwow evening. Oh, yeah. Just sent. Thank you so much. And that's member for two months, Kayla. Who was pitching for? Wait, wait, wait. Who was pitching for the Snakes tomorrow? And why was Jelly on the road? Jelly was on a rehab. Thank you so much, SG. Uh, Jelly was on a rehab uh, with the uh, Sacramento River Cats. And he just got, he just got bumped uh, off rehab and back to the team. I don't know what the corresponding move was. So if there was a corresponding move, um, uh-oh, I see the corresponding move and it's not good. Alex Cobb. Alex Cobb has been moved from the 15-day injured list 
to the 60 day injured. This is breaking news. Left hip surgery. This is breaking news. I've been out of the loop today. I mean, I listened to the game. I didn't hear them. I didn't hear them mention it. But Alex Cobb has been transferred to the 60-day injured list. The Giants did acquire uh, a right-hander named Mitch White. Uh, Mr. White from the Blue Jays. Um, and uh, that's that's some breaking news right here. Just now. Just now hearing that, I think I, I think I heard about that they got Mitch White, but I didn't realize that Alice Cobb is now in the 60-day aisle. So Alice Cobb is going to be out for a while. Uh, just do it. Yes, Cobb to the 60-day IL. Very bad news. And our pitching staff is going to suck for the rest of the first half. But like I said, it's a good thing that we have so many options down in AAA. We really do. Not to mention Keaton Wynn has been looking better lately. So remember, if we assume Keaton Wynn, let's assume everyone else is healthy. We still got um, – we still got let's, – let's, hopefully Snell gets it going. So we still got Snell. We obviously got our one-two punch with um, Harrison and Webb. So that's three right there. Then you have Jordan Hicks. That's four. And then Keaton Wynn. Robbie Ray Robbie Ray is still coming out around the corner. And then you have multiple dudes in AAA who are really pitching well. They're really pitching well down there. Jelly is, uh, I, I kind of have given up on Sean Jelly. I don't know why he's even hit still on the 40 man, but Giants must see something they like in him. It just feels like every time he goes out there, at least at the big league level, and at the minor league level, he ain't much better. But every time he goes out there, he gets lit up like the 4th of July, man. I mean, he just gets lit. I mean, I like the guy. He's a nice guy, okay? He's a nice guy. But that don't freaking cut it. That don't freaking cut it when you're getting lit. Uh, so, uh, I mean, he got lit in San Jose. I guess he pitched well in Sacramento in four innings. He didn't allow any runs for the River Cats. But for the Giants last year, what is McCovey doing? McCovey, leave my bobblehead. Leave my bobblehead alone. Holy smoly. Uh, McCovey was interested in the bobbleheads. Okay. Those things are very, very... Uh, you know, breakable. Uh, you gave up a long time ago. Um, yeah, Robbie Ray won't be back for a while. And that's the point I was getting to was that we have dudes in triple, a, at least three guys. I There's at least three starters who are actually pitching pretty well down there. And I, I can't, I'm going to bring up the roster to help me. Um, because I can't think of their names. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Tanner Andrews is a, is a solid relief pitcher. He, he's not really uh, he's not really uh, one of the guys I'm thinking of, though. Mason Black is one of them. Mason Black was 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 a, was a candidate to be in the rotation during spring training. He was expected to be in the rotation until the Giants started signing guys um, like Blake Snell. But but Mason Black was going to be in the rotation for a while. And he's, I, I, I think he's pitching pretty well down there. Spencer Howard, I know, just threw six scoreless today. And Dalton Jeffries made the team. I know he didn't look too great, but Dalton Jeffries is pitching well. His last couple of starts, he's looking a lot better. So those are the three guys that I'm talking about. And, of course, Carson, Weis Carson Weisenhunt is our top guy. Four really intriguing pitchers who can come up and help us out. So I'm not too worried about the rotation. I mean, I, I know that. That normally we don't have that type of depth right in AAA. Four guys who can uh, who, I can come up and actually start. And uh, there's also some relievers down here like Tommy, Tommy Romero and some dudes who uh, have some good stuff. And uh, so, yeah, no, no concerns, no concerns. Uh, oh, my goodness. Magenta. When I see magenta, my eyes just go. Um, Randy Rolfeson, that is unbelievable. I don't even know what to say. Forty nine ninety nine. McCovey, what are you doing? What are you What are you curious about? What are you looking for? What What are you looking for, McCovey? McCovey's tripping because I've been gone all day, so I just got back and I didn't really say hi to him. I didn't really pet him or nothing. I came straight for the, the stream, so he's tripping. Uh. uh but thank you so much. That is amazing. That is so generous. $49.99. I'm like, I'm like, I'm not even processing that. 
That is a huge super chat. Thank you so much. You might be right, but you know, we'll see. You will see. Uh, Robbie Ray could get going. Like, hopefully, he gets things going by August and can help out in September. And hopefully, the Giants get into the playoffs. And then Robbie Ray can be a factor. That's the hope. Jeffrey's going to screw up when he gets back to MLB. I hope not, because I like, I like, I like these guys in AAA. Thank you, Randy. I, I was just going to say thank you to you. It really means a lot. That is, that is amazing. Wow, you guys are, are, are you guys are keeping Hum Baby Baseball alive with these amazing generous super chats and uh, thank you so much it's all going back into the business i ain't living large we ain't going to the club up in here if we're if we're going anywhere it's the baseball games we're scouting we're building the channel um my cat's name is mccovey that's why i keep yelling, saying mccovey yeah world, world traveler is okay I, i've spoken to her but she's uh obviously is not joining us like she used to but hopefully we'll get her back in here at least during the astro series I'm going, to, I'm going to tell her that we insist that she shows up during the Astro series. Um, what were we talking about again? Uh, yes, Hicks is killer. Yeah, Hicks is is awesome here. I seen Je Jeffries literally gave up seven runs in one inning in his first start. I know that was a rough start, but you got to give dudes, you know, a, a little bit of a chance, right? I mean, that was rough. But if he goes down and he starts pitching well in AAA, you may give him another chance. You can't just get rid of a guy after one start. If that was the case, Snell would have been gone too because he's sucking. And maybe not that bad, quite that bad. But Snell has not looked great at all. Uh, he's been really, really bad in his early Giants career. It's not the first time we signed a big free agent. They come over here. Everything's exciting. Remember um, Barry Zito? What was that, a seven-year deal? That was like the big signing of 2007. It was like Barry Zito, Barry Zito, opening day starter, and just sucked. Sucked for a while. Um, and he was here. I think he was here the whole contract. Um, I was just, it was just crazy. He finally started to do better, and he helped us out in the 2012 World Series um, and had his moments for sure. And it was, a, it was a cool era having Barry Zito, but – it definitely did not work out. The hype did not equal the performance, especially early on. And then, of course, um, remember Mark Melanson after that terrible season when the bullpen uh, completely imploded and we signed Mark Melanson to fix things? He sucked. Uh, I, I love him. He's a great guy. Uh, oh, you know who else is a great guy? Bo Falcon is an amazing – oh, my God. Oh my God. Y'all are, y'all are, y'all are too much. One hundy. One hundy. The computer hunt, Bo Falcon, is at, on the verge of being complete. And this time it's serious. May of 2024 is the month that I'll be ordering it. And you just pretty much that you just made it official. It was pretty much already official. It is now an absolute promise. Next month, the computer is going to be here. And I think you'll notice it. You won't be able to see it, but I think you'll notice the performance and, and we'll be able to do more and better graphics and better better production, more videos because the, the, they won't take forever and a day to process. Fit, one, first a fitty from, from and, and trust me, Randy, oh my gosh, wow. That's amazing. And a hundy from Bo Falcon. And, and that's not it. $9.99, Jason Corona, who Jason Corona has spent 500 plus, well, damn near thousands of, of dollars. Like Joe, Jason Corona has, has been amazing. So, same with Randy with the $4.99 and then the $49.99 and then the hundy. Bo Falcon has been extremely generous in the, of this channel. I cannot, Bo Falcon, uh, just one of the most, one of the most amazing. I can't even, I can't, I'll just go on and on. We'll talk about it all day. It means so much. Thank you for that hundy right there. Oh my gosh. Um, if Snell goes six and 15, he will exercise his 30 million option and win 15 plus and 25. Very could, very well could be. But Snell's off to a very rough start. Uh, Mark was an awesome signing, but worth his, but, but worth his worth. Yeah, Mark, I remember Mark Melanson. The, the problem with that signing was our bullpen sucked. 
in 2016. The Giants thought they could fix the bullpen by signing one dude who he was a top closer at that time, but one dude doesn't fix a bullpen. They needed to sign several really good bullpen arms at that time. Instead, we just got Mark Melanson and it was like, well, what if he has a bad year? And he had a bad year. He had a bad year in 2018 with the Giants. Um, and he did end up, I mean, it shows that ERA is actually 3.23. So I guess he kind of, he got it going later on, but I remember he was really bad at first and then he had injury issues. Um, turned out he only had three saves. He was going to be our closer. He, he, he never really worked out as the closer or the giants couldn't win any games. So I don't know. How did he only get three saves? Am I reading this right? How did he only get three saves for us? Does anyone remember? Like, did we did we decide not to use him as the closer back in 2018? And because in 2019 he only got one save. So clearly, and then he went on and got 39 saves for the for the Padres, 18 saves for the for the Diamondbacks, and before he was with us, 51 saves for the Pirates, 33, 30 for the Pirates, 17 for the Nationals. What happened? He only got 11. Oh, 2017 he got 11 saves. In 2017. Oh, 2017 was his first year. I'm reading this wrong. I, I was going to say, how did he get 3.23? Okay, so his first year with us, he had a 4.5 ERA. That wasn't good for the best closer, one of the best closers in the game. 4.5 ERA, just 11 saves. I know we're going back in time, but... Okay, so it was 2017 that we signed him. 2016 was the meltdown year. Uh, Melanson was a bust. You miss a lot when you leave. Eric, why don't Giants pick up since we picked up Mitch White? Um, Melanson was terrible during his giant stint. Not great. Uh, I don't understand the question, but, uh, Mitch White giants picked up and we'll see how that goes. But, uh, he was a blue Jays. Um, now he's a giants. He was DFA'd, uh, by the blue Jays. The giants picked him up. He's only appeared in four games this year, 5.4 year. I mean, he's never pitched particularly well in the big, big leagues. I know he was down with the Dodgers. Mitch down in their AAA, uh, AAA team for a few years. Yeah, Mitch White. So, welcome to the Giants. He is a Bay Area dude or San Jose, born in San Jose. So, welcome to the Giants. Please don't suck. And that's all I can say. Um, Melanson. Yeah, I will get mad when I think of the walk-off homer to Arenado he gave up. Yep. I don't remember Melanson being any good because he really wasn't that great. He had, he had moments. He's, he is a nice guy. Like he will talk to the fans. I talked to him a little bit and he'll sign autographs and, and he's cool, but you know, Burbeck wants Bauer. Yeah. I, 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 I do not think he's going to pitch again in the big leagues. If you want to know the truth, I'm not saying that what's right or wrong. I just don't think, I don't think he's going to ever pitch in the big leagues. I think his career is over. Cause if someone's going to sign him, they'd have signed him by now. The Rockies. Are you kidding me? The Rockies. What 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 even is what even are they worried about? The reputation, Rockies. They might as well sign him, send him down to uh, um, um, their AAA team. Where is their AAA team? It's in uh, uh, Albuquerque. Send him down to Albuquerque for a couple of rehabs. Get him going. Boom. People come to the game at least. Now now maybe they maybe they have good attendance in Denver. I don't know, but but they suck. Uh, Eric, what about Giants signing Hernandez from the Marlins? Torres hammy off the bone, didn't do squat after that. Yes, we've had some bad, yeah, we had some bad trades. We had some bad closers, some bad bullpen arms in the past, and it just has not worked out. Mark was a total bust. He had a good, but most of the time saving was a flop. Um, what's up? Hey, uh, sorry. He, uh, Hildardo Jr. Barragan. How do you get your Giants tickets? You buy season package or stub hub? I first buy tickets at the beginning of the season when they go on sale. So I'll buy a few tickets at the retail, whatever the Giants are selling them for. Games that I'll probably go to. If I don't go, I sell them. Um, it's not like I'm trying to make profit, but if I do, that's fine. But if not, I just if I don't go, I sell them on StubHub. And then if I want to go to a game I don't have tickets for and sold out, StubHub. Yep, I go to StubHub. StubHub it is. Power is more legit than Harrison. Harrison's younger. Harrison's got a brighter future, probably. But, uh, and, and Harrison's way, I'd say a slightly less controversial. Slightly. Ever so slightly less controversial. AM Echo Sky's not feeling Bauer. Bauer's killing in Mexico. I heard he was not pitching too well, but he was sick. 
Um, and not, not in a good way. I mean, he was like literally sick. Uh, Bauer is playing somewhere foreign. One of my favorites, Mick Melanson. I can't help it. Melanson. Don't want Bauer. will pass. No Bauer. Don't nobody need that headache. It, it would be a headache. Um, the press is awful for Bauer. Better to have Pablo Sandoval as a reliever over Bauer. River Cat looks games than all the games I've gone to thus far. Sacramento River Cats. They they do they got a team right that, 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 and if they got a team that means we got a team with with depth when we need it. I mean I know it sucks for like Casey Schmidt after his hot start last year. After a couple weeks in the big leagues, Casey Schmidt thought he was never going to play in the minors again. Casey Schmidt thought he was he was he was going to the Hall of Fame, dude. I, I I guarantee. I mean maybe that's a little pushing it, but I guarantee that he thought, dude, this is where I belong. And he went into that terrible slump and started the year in Triple A. I, I I I feel for a guy like that. And and David VR got came up and now he's back down there. Marco Luciano's back down there. A lot of guys who they want to be here. They want to be in San Francisco. But uh, I would say to them, man, keep grinding down there. Keep playing. Keep doing well. And Ramos, keep 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 doing what you're doing. You'll get your chance. You'll get your chance. Some of these guys are our days are numbered. Yastrzemski, Yastrzemski had two big hits today. Shout out to Mike Yastrzemski. I, I think he's got his average back up to, uh, it was it's pushing 200. Okay, 171. It's not good, but he's pushing 200. Um, two hits today for Mike. Hit the ball hard. And then uh, who's the other outfielder? Um, Austin Slater. Austin Slater better get it going and better get it going quick because they will send him packing. They will send him packing. Crazy Crab Channel started in. December of 2017, I, I want to say. Uh, December of 2017. Springfield Isotopes wouldn't sign Bauer. You know, it, it's up to the teams. I always say it's up to the teams. It's up to the teams. It's up to the team. I'm not a general manager. If I was, I would consider it if we were the Rockies or something and we, like, really needed pitching and really needed attendance. And I'm like, we talked to the guy. We interviewed the guy. And, and I'll back that decision, but Giants, we don't, you know, we got, we got plenty of pitching depth right now. I don't think we need, I don't think we need to, uh, to go there, but you know, obviously that's, that's contingent on freaking Snell pitching. Well, let's go. Matthew wants the immaculate grid. Yeah. My first video over there was reviewing the God awful movie by the name of the last Jedi. Uh, when they get their chance, they got to make it hard to send them back down. Exactly. Did we pick up Mitch White? I believe so. Why aren't they starting Matos yet? People have been talking about him being good for over three years. Um, because I guess they're they're letting him get his at bats down there, and at some point they'll be coming up. Oakland A's could sign him. Yeah, Oakland A's could if they wanted. But Oakland A's have so much controversy. Oakland A's are known as you know they're getting a lot of negative attention at the way that they run the team. I think they're just not looking for any – they don't need any more negativity than they already have with the move. I don't think they're going to – I don't think they're going to do it. They want to uh, – they they don't want any more negative attention than they already have. So I wouldn't say the A's would do it. Um, I see what you're saying. If you were the A's, you would, but I don't think they will. I don't think he's going to play. I think his career is done. His MLB career is done. I put out a video on him, and then his agent, Rachel Luba, actually commented on my video like right away i was kind of like i didn't even know they knew who i was so that kind of uh, kind of shocked me i'm in utah broke my heart no way will be coming here your coverage of that made me a believer in your coverage thank you so much i appreciate that over in utah are you near the uh uh salt lake i, I suppose you couldn't be too far but utah is pretty big utah is bigger than people than people think Eric, you did a video on 4A players. I think, Matt, oh, yeah. Hey, let me know any suggestions for that. I got my notebook right here, and I'll I'll write that down. Brett Pill, 4A. Brett Pill's a nice guy. Guys, I, now these are just giants, but Brett Pill. Who else did you say? Mac Williamson. And the guy I was thinking um, was Todd Helton. Todd Helton. Todd, Todd Helton. Todd Linden, Todd Helton. I yeah, I don't think he was a quadruple A guy. Uh, Todd Helton was a Hall of Famer who finally got into. I like Randy Johnson. He's a nice guy, except when he's on the mound. A day that he pitches, 
he is freaking focused. He was freaking laser freaking. Um, we asked him for my autograph for his autograph one day, but he was pitching that day. I thought he was going to kill me. But then when he's not pitching, Hey bro, how you doing brother? Yeah. You doing good. He's the nicest guy in the world. But when he's pitching, he ain't feeling, he ain't, he ain't trying to be friendly. Um, embrace the villain. Bye-bye baby. Yes. Yes. We will be doing that. 25. Oh, you're 25 minutes from the park. I would like to go to a game there. Let's check out their schedule. See if anything. When are they playing the River Cats? I guess is what I want to know. When do they play the Sacramento River Cats? Not that they have to play the River Cats, but I, I, I probably wouldn't want to make the drive to Salt Lake unless get a couple, you know, go to a game and see some, see, see the cats. Um, and it looks like very soon, a little too soon. I don't think I'm gonna make it by May, May 7th through the 12th. Uh, it looks like the river cats will be in town, but you might could go to some of those games. Feel free to go there. Do me a little stadium review. Send me the video and I'll put it on the channel stadium review i've actually had jenny vega did a stadium review for me at the coliseum and at oracle she did a couple of stadium reviews for the channel um but yeah sacramento river Cat. maybe they come back again later oh uh, yeah july july 9th through the 14th so that that, that could that could happen that could be a potential um what were we talking about Oh, yeah. Somebody wanted the Immaculate Grid. Giants could have been so close. Where's Jenny? Eric, you better let me know if you're going to do a River Cat versus Bees games. Send vids. Yeah, no. Anyone wants to do a stadium review? Because obviously I can't hit every stadium in the country. But anyone wants to do it, send me the vids. I'll edit it together. Check out, watch my stadium reviews so you can see how I do them. And then just basically do the same thing. And, and uh, it would be really cool for the channel. 99 cents. Randy, Randy has freaking, Randy has sent a 99, a 4.99, a 49.99. Absolutely incredible. Every penny counts. I'm baby baseball. We ain't rolling in it. We ain't no Mr. Beast. I walk down the street. I see a penny on the ground. I'm picking it up. I pick up the penny. Not everyone picks up. I pick up the penny. Okay. Um, let's go bees. $2 super chat from James Decker. Uh, yeah, yeah, all the way, all the way. And you know, you guys are moving to a different stadium. You're supposed to anyway uh, next year, right? So this is the last year for that stadium for Smith's Park. So this is the last year to check that stadium out. It's also the last year to check out the Coliseum. So baseball is going to be changing. A lot of changes are coming. But yeah, you guys uh, have a, a one, two, three, four, six game series against Sacramento in July. Um. I think I'll, I'll, I will, I will, uh, I will put that on my calendar just, just to think about it. It's not like it's that far away. I mean, it's still, it's still, still uh, west. It's not west coast per se, but it's still, you know, western region of the states. Now, getting getting to the east coast, that's that's what I find difficult. I'm not an athlete. I'm a professional baseball player. John Crook. Yes. Uh, thank you guys so much. I pick up a penny. Also, just take a hundred for a hold on. I pick up a penny. I pick up a penny. I learned it from my grandma. She used to pick up a penny. Pick up a penny. A penny, dude. Like, why you pick up a penny? Who cares? She's like, this is money. This is money right here. This is going into my savings. Put a penny in there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Okay, let's do it. We want immaculate. We do immaculate. We're getting immaculate, right? I see the Dodgers, um, Tigers, Gold Glove. Second base minimum, one game. Miguel Vargas. Uh, uh, Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. <laughs> Who played second base back in the in the in the in the in the eighties and nineties for the Dodgers? Who played second base for them? Mike Sharperson. Remember, guys. Remember Mike Sharperson. That might be a good rarity one right there. Um. Jose Offerman. You guys remember Jose Offerman? I'm just thinking of names. Oh, uh, you bet. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
keeping it genuine. Ba Bailey was amazing. Um, Mike Sharperson. Mike Sharperson. I don't want to get it wrong. I, 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 the only thing I, I, I like, okay, we got here, Lou Whitaker, Chase Utley, yeah. The only thing I concern, Mike Sharperson, like, he, 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 he certainly he played second base. One game, I'm going to put it, 0.4%, 0.4%. That's how we do with the rarity. Because I'm like, is there any way he never played? Like, of course he played second base. Because I remember him playing a lot of third base, shortstop, infield, utility guy. Of course he played second base at some point. Um, no, it doesn't have to be 70s and 80s. I was just trying to get a rarity. I was just going for the rarity. Um, Detroit, $5 Super Chat. If you come to Utah and see a B's game, you better let me know. I've been a huge fan pre-hum. We better see a game together. My friend, James Decker, been a fan since 2017. Oh, my gosh. Uh, since the crazy crap, crazy crap baseball days. Um, $5 Super Chat. Oh, I'm going to let you know. It ain't even a, ain't even a question about that. I'm going to let you know that James, uh, I would not go to, I would not go there and not let you know. Um, Lou Whitaker for the Tigers. Lou, thank you for that $5 super chat. Lou Whitaker. Let's do it. I, 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 we don't have time to think of the most rare, rare ones. Gold glove and played second base. Ryan Sandberg. How many gold bugs did Ryan Sandberg win? I don't know. But at least one, right? Uh, I'm trying to think. Ryan Bamber, Sandberg won like, I don't know how many he won, but he won at least one. He probably won like 10. Uh, Ryan Sandberg. Boom. 8% rarity score for Ryan Sandberg. Uh, Decker, yes. If you if you all come to Yuka, I will hook you up. Trey Turner. Can we play baseball? Are, 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 are you in... Are you in physical condition to play some baseball? Because I would like to actually play baseball uh, as well as go to the game. Um, 200 plus wins, career pitching. Um, Clayton Kershaw? And a gold glove? Well, Greg Maddox. Greg Maddox, please tell me this is right. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I was going to say, if Greg Maddox doesn't have 200 career wins, it's time to get off YouTube. Uh, Dodgers, I my only guy that comes to mind is Clayton Kershaw. Obviously, there's some of the, the greats of the past, but not all, a lot of them win 200 wins. So, uh, Berlander and Kershaw, yeah. Let's be honest. So, let's go Kershaw. And let's go Verlander. Let's just let's go Verlander. Yeah. And then we need outfield minimum one game. If we can't get this, then there's no point. Um, outfield minimum one. I wonder if we put someone like who's not an outfielder who got thrown out there for one random game. Uh, Morris for the Tigers. Oh, we already got the Tigers. We got Justin Berlander. Uh, back to the chat. Jim Thurgill, okay, 342 wins. I was going to say, of course he's got it. He's got over 300. Like, I don't have their wins memorized. I just know, like, instinctually, Maddox has over 200 wins and probably over 300. And like you said, yes. So, like, it's not even a question. But, yeah. But I'm, I'm just trying to think. Uh, minimum, uh, we got a gifted Mimby from James Decker. Thank you so much for that. A gifted Mimby. I'm going to check out who, who got gifted it. It doesn't show me on. I have to jump into the chat myself and see. Who got the gifted Mimby? Uh, Luis Betancourt. Congratulations and thank you, Luis Betancourt, for that. Um, outfield minimum one game. Throw them out there. Jason Hayward, Brett Butler. Bob Welsh, Luis, Luis, Hayward is a good one. Hayward is a, I mean, there's a, I was trying to think like someone who might have like 
thrown out there for a game like Tigers, like, okay, Tigers. There's just too many to, yeah, like did Eric Carroll, he was mostly first base. Did they throw Eric Carroll out there for a random game? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it just, can we, can we just think of someone like to, totally random? Uh, Lenny Harris, for the, he was on the uh, Dodgers for many years. Good pinch hitter. Um, like Kirk Gibson, did he ever play outfield? Just think of someone from the 80s. Magli Ordonez, of course. Um, Franklin Stubbs, just the old, old timers, you know what I'm saying? Old timers that we could think of. Chad Curtis, you guys remember him? That might be a good for the rarity score. Chad Curtis. For the rarity, 0.1%. For the rarity, 0.1%. And a gold glove outfield, Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. Should we finish it on the legend and get Barry Bonds? For the win, Barry Bonds. We got the immaculate grid. Immaculate grid. Ken Griffey Jr. is the, the most common. Curtis Granderson, Justin Verlander, Lou Whitaker, Steve Sachs, Clayton Kershaw, Mookie Betts, Roberto Alomar, Greg Maddox, and Ken Griffey Jr. Greg Maddox was the most popular, and that's what I went with. So I didn't exactly get the best rarity score, but we got a couple of good ones. Mike Sharperson, Chad Curtis, Barry Bonds only 2%. That's a pretty good rarity, surprisingly. Um, very nice rarities today. Uh, you can use Kurt Gibson for both Tigers and Dodgers. Yeah, Kurt Gibson at some point. The Super Chats today were out of this world. I, 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 I've just blown away. This has been like just one single stream probably beat. Just today, we probably beat all of last year combined. I mean, that's how amazing it's been. This has been an incredible year. And I, and I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. Like, I don't feel like I'm... I just can't believe it. I really can't believe it. And I'm here solo for the most part, and the, the support is, is insane, and, and it, it doesn't go unnoticed. And we're going to be doing big things this year. Barragan, how long have you been doing your show? When did you debut? And how do you feel about the Dodgers? Uh, been doing the show, the post games and stuff like that since 20, uh, the actual first, we started the channel. This channel started in 2019 and we did the first post game show in 2020. Actually, this, this channel got off to a rough start because I started in the off season, everything was going great. And then the pandemic hit. And I just thought, dude, what luck, man. I mean, you know, every time I do something, something happens. Every time I try something, something happens beyond my control. Give it a bro, it's just in your head. The pandemic is just in my head. A 60-game freaking season. But I kept at it. I kept at it. And then what happened? Lockout. The lockout happened. And it was just like one thing after another. But, but by 2020, by 2023, last year, we really finally hit a groove. And we've had a few seasons to build. And we're finally doing good here. So, um, uh you know, it just took some time. I think there's going to be another lockout or a strike or something when this new CBA finishes, but at least we've gotten a few years to build up and we're doing big things and we're going to hit 50,000 subscribers at some point. Who starts for the D-backs tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to look that up. As long as it's not Randy Johnson, we'll be just fine. Uh, so today's the 20th. I, I only wish I had a YouTube channel like this. Even back when YouTube existed, but it never crosses anyone's mind. You know, nobody was thinking in 2005, 2006, 2007 that they could get on here and talk baseball. I don't even know if they had live stream. I don't think they had live streams back then. I don't think they existed. But to jump on YouTube and put up videos talking baseball like this, it never crossed any my mind or anyone else's mind. But I wish I had done this. Imagine if I had started this channel in 2005, 2006. Oh, my God. Oh my God, we'd be 
we'd be have millions of subscribers. We'd be the biggest thing since sliced bread, but didn't have that kind of for, uh, you know, that kind of, uh, uh, just thinking ahead that, 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 that could was even possible. Jordan Hicks tomorrow against Merrill Kelly, the magician, Merrill Kelly, two and oh, 2.19 ERA, really good guy, good pitcher. And that's going to be a tough one, but we got our guy of our own. Who's even better. Jordan Hicks, unstoppable. Tomorrow's going to be a freaking good game. Here we go. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park. Cheer for the batter, light the spark. If you're a fan of Giants baseball, sing bye-bye, baby. If you want to be in first place, bye-bye, baby. Listen to the broadcast of KBR. You'll see just who we are. The win, a crazy crap. I think it means like the original. I, 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 every so often I go over there and throw up a video on crazy crab. It's been a while. Uh, when you know, I, I don't know, I haven't decided what to do with that channel. I was thinking of doing like documentaries on, on, on movies. I just don't have time. I'm doing the documentaries on the baseball channel. I just don't know how to find the time to build more channels up like I have this one. It's really difficult. Um, and then I'm also doing the, the the prospects channel, and I have a car repair, and I'm 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 just spread way too thin. It's really tough. But um, the Hum Baby Baseball channel comes first because it's 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 the one that's found the most success. Well, it ain't going nowhere, so you don't have to worry about that. But I'll I'll see what I can do. I'll try to make some videos over there. Twenty dollars, James Decker. It's by by. Baby, oh my gosh, thank you so much. It's insane. The support is through the roof. I mean, I don't even know. I, I I can't even I can't even say thank you enough. Absolutely amazing. What can you say? What can you possibly say? But thank you so much. I do appreciate it. You guys are absolutely amazing. I appreciate it here. Get loose together, spotlights hitting something, don't to change the weather. Kill the fatty cat tonight, so stick around. You're gonna hear it like a music sound. Say, Candy Ronnie, have you seen them yet? No, but the soul spaced out. Put Benny in the chips. But they're so weird and they're wonderful. Oh, but she's really cute. She's got electric boots, a Moha suit, you know I read it in a magazine, oh, oh, oh. and the Chips. We had to do our Elton John for the night, you guys know that. Crazy crap, lots of money coming in for your fans in Utah, Utah, oh, thank God for Utah. Thank you for Utah, I do appreciate it. The hippie music has to happen, thank you all so much, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button y'all are awesome thank you so much uh 
we're gonna keep up. We we let that hundred dollars. We let that nineteen ninety nine simmer a little bit, and the the sim We got another one from Randy Rudolphson. Fund for the Bucks because he knows that the string's gonna break any minute now. I always thought the San Diego chicken was the best for the at least for the Paul. Yeah, I remember the San Diego chicken. We need to rank the mascots. Ranking the mascots. Check out this video here if I can find it real quick. This was hilarious. Oh, uh, the Philly fanatic definitely one of the best. And uh, there was a little bit of a situation at a at a at a uh, mascot game. The mascots were having a game. If I can find it, I know I re I put it out here. Oh, here it is, right here. There was a situation. There was a situation and a pitch from the Philly fanatic didn't go quite as planned. Against mom. Oh! oh! <laughs> right in Phoebe's head or snoot or something. <laughs> and mom doesn't look too happy. Oh yeah, that's that's vintage. I'm not that's, that that was a while back, but it, I, I just came across it the other day. It was hilarious. Uh, let's freaking go, dancing Homer. Let's go, bees. You too. No, I didn't play you too. I'm doing a lot of the, uh, playing a lot of uh, random stuff, but a lot of Elton John lately as well. But. I like the Bee Gees. I like some, you know, we, we like that old school stuff. But uh, you know how we do here on the Home Baby Baseball channel. We, we, we play whatever. So um, it's been a crazy year already, but the Giants are, seem to get getting things back on track. So that's the important thing. It's jungle up there. Everywhere, no one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's a jungle out there, poison in the very air we breathe. You know what's in the water that you drink. Well, I do. It's amazing. People think I'm crazy, don't worry all the time. You paid attention. You world too you better pay attention all this world we love so much might just kill you i could be wrong now but i don't think so because it's a jungle out there it's a jungle out there all right. I couldn't remember all the chords, but close enough. Thank y'all. Have a pleasant evening. Remember that time when the chicken sat on the pole, guys? Yeah, there's been some crazy, crazy moments for sure. Right on the honker. Let's go, Giants. Dancing Homer, thank you so much. Hit the subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. We'll be back tomorrow, hopefully, with a series victory. Yeah, that's, that was from Randy Newman. You know about Randy Newman. You guys know about uh, the great one. So, uh, yeah, one of my favorites. Um, but let's hear, let's watch the video one more again, right on the snoozer. And I love the reaction of the Philly fanatic on the mound. I wish we had, I could find a longer clip. Maybe it's out there somewhere, but this is all I got here. It's absolutely hilarious. The reaction of everyone involved. These guys are amazing. Run against mom. Oh, <laughs> right in Phoebe's like a fanatic or, or something. And mom doesn't look too happy. Oh, man. That was a classic. Uh, all right. See you guys next time. Thank you so much. The Super Chats are amazing. Bo Falcon. I, I should go all night for that one. Thank you so much, Bo, Randy, James. Um, who else? Uh, 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 Kayla. Uh, all the members as well. James Decker. All the members. Kalioki Connection, the, the 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 longtime members, thank you. You know who you are. Luis Betancourt, uh, Jim Thoroughkill, uh, Matthew. Um, everyone, do appreciate it. Free beer and lodging. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It, it means a lot. What a, what a successful game today, successful stream. Uh, hum, wait. What did I forget?
Didn't I play Bye Bye Baby? I thought I played it. Did I start playing some other songs and forget to play it? I got short-term memory loss. You got a friend in me as well, but we can play it again. If I if, if I play, I, I almost certain I played it. But uh, hit the thumbs up, everyone. Thank you so much. We'll play those two. Uh, Paul, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Chris, yeah, I, I know I'm about to. I'm thinking like, did I? Uh, but we'll do it here. We'll do a, a, a little medley here to finish it off. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Maybe she missed it. So here we go. Thank you all again and good night. When the giants come to town, it's bye bye, baby. Time the chips are down. It's bye bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park. Cheer for the back, light the spark. With the San Francisco Giants, it's bye bye, baby. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. When the road is rough ahead, when you're miles and miles from a nice warm bed. Just remember what your old past said before. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Have a good one. Yes. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. And we'll see you next time. specific uh, no I thought it generally sucked I didn't think it was a specific suck I thought it was like an all-encompassing type of suck so you know we're gonna try and rectify that but for right now I'm gonna be pretty pissed about it so he says he sucked in all areas and he's gonna try to fix it but he's pissed and I, I love the honesty and the breakdown of his performance then he talks about how he